Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to our Lord of the Rings play- uh, Lord of the Rings, and by Lord of the Rings, I mean Lord of the Rims playthrough. When we- You know, I was complaining about, like, my oh-so-important immersion, and it kind of occurs to me that, uh... Maybe I'm being a little silly here. I mean, I think you can actually disable falling spacecraft in the, um, like, scenario-y stuff. I'm gonna send you away. Once once this colony is up and running, it's gonna be it's gonna be great. Oh, you know what? A thought just occurred to me. Uh, what we could do on the other side of this is have like the uh, guest barracks or something. Yeah, yeah, we could do something like that. I mean, we're gonna need guest quarters or quarters as much as anything. I mean, we could put them somewhere else, but. Uh, Hmm. We'll figure it out. I mean, like, there is a lot of mountain to dig into here, so... Yeah. Yeah, but then again, yeah, having guest quarters here, it's not... It's not a bad idea. Yeah, so I, I might... I might actually do it. Alright, everyone's hanging out, having a good time. We're partying. There are... Dead Yorkshire Terriers here. Oh, uh, my poor heart. It goes out to these, those brave souls. Also, it looks like, yeah, we've got some food. Not a terribly great amount. Uh, we also, oh, these are ready to harvest, so we can start harvesting those eventually. By the by. Which is good, I mean, I like that. Alright, we're getting our hand tailoring bench going. We've got a lot of bricks. That's, that's also a good thing. Which actually means, uh, how much marble do we have? Uh, not quite enough marble yet. I mean, yeah, then we could put uh, a marble gate here. I mean, to be honest with you, there's a part of me that's still tempted to, like, change this layout, but we probably won't. Actually, I'm almost wondering, should I turn this into the guest quarters now? Now, I want, like, a... I want a more impressive guest barracks. Like, I want the guests to have... I mean, and that's a thing. Should should the guest area be like individual rooms, or should it be just one big barrack? Hmm. I'm not really sure. Local boar has gone mad. All right. Hmm. Also, I seem to hear Ace uh, barking up there. You may hear him as well. He must. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but I guess uh, something's going on out there, and it uh, does not please him. I see some ducks again. I think I might have mentioned this story. Like, uh, oh god. Yeah, fight back, you <laughs> imp. Oin, what are you doing? Go help your comrade in arms here. Danny's is a good fighter, right? Eh, uh, not really. You're also not really that great, but you are able to fight, so. No, that's a, uh, oh god. This thing has taken some damage, right? It's in no immediate danger. That kind of sucks. And, I mean, we actually are able to, uh, like, get in there in a timely fashion. So, oh wait, never mind, we actually, we've uh, knocked him down. Okay, good. Go rescue Danny. Bring him home for us. Alright, jolly good. Jolly, jolly good indeed. And this is, this is under a roof, right? It is, good. There's a nice mountainy roof here. Hmm. Yeah. Like, let, let, let's, uh, let's actually take a moment. We'll go a little slower here. Like, if we, if we dig things out on this side, I mean, if we want symmetry, we probably, like, should do this as well. Then, like, on this side, we have our guest rooms, which will be... Or, I mean, I could just make it a big guest barracks. Ah, but this... I mean, a guest barracks, it just doesn't have, like, the same... Same quality, does it? Like, that's not proper dwarven hospitality, is it? Hmm. Yeah, if we just... if we skip this... Like, we'll keep this for reasons, but, uh, yeah, if we plan this and we have, like, 
I mean, maybe we won't make we won't won't make them as grand as like our actual living quarters. Maybe just like four by four rooms here instead of like the five by five we eventually plan on giving. The uh, actually, I guess let's let's remove these plans. And like, yeah, we could do something like this. Hmm. I don't know, and then, I mean, do I even want, like, the guest quarters to be right next to the barracks? Or the, uh, the dungeon? Because that seems kind of ominous and not very, not very friendly either. Hmm. Like, I could just make this the storage room and lead into, like, the, the crafting rooms. It's so hard to figure out what I want to do. Let's see here. We dig out like this, and then we have, like, a, a quarter going down here. And by quarter, I mean corridor. And have it, like, uh, bypass the throne room. We could even have, like, a, you know, a secret emergency exit there or something. Behind the throne. Assuming, assuming pawns can get behind the, the throne in the first place. Ah, but then again, I mean, depending on where we pl actually hold on, that actually gets me thinking even more. Like, if I do this, and then this. Yeah, because then I could, like, set it into the wall. Oh, all right, 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 right. We do something like this, and then we have, like... That's in there, and then we've got this here, and... Like, I, I don't know if I can walk through the, uh... Throne, because, well, I've never built it before, so of course I don't know. If I even want to extend this a little bit more on either side for whatever reason, I mean, maybe we could put some statues here of a medium variety. And then, like, this will, uh... Yeah, kind of... Go down here like this, and then like that, and then... Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I suppose I could turn this into like where like the forge and storage rooms are. Have like the guest rooms elsewhere. Hmm. I'm almost starting to regret digging this all out. Maybe I might have wanted to change things. Maybe I would have wanted to put the, the prison like all the way down here. Or something, like, deep in the corner. I mean, for all I know, there might even, like, like, this isn't even all actually cave. Hmm. Hard to know for sure. Alright, so, I mean, we know eventually this is gonna get walled up. So I'll remove these plans here because they're distracting. Alright, so we get rid of that. Alright. I mean, like, this is already open, so, I mean, we might as well have something here. I think, like, you know, pretty obvious logic. So, what would we want that would, like, fill this space? And, like, the answer to me is, like, uh, this could be our, our storeroom. Right here. And the problem, of course, of having it here is that they're, like, yeah, it's kind of limited by everything. To be honest, I might even move this, like, further down or something. Hmm. It's all very work in progress, man. I mean, we, like, we could dig this out more. I just want to, like, keep a fairly deep amount of mountain here in order to discourage sappers from digging in. Yeah, and then we could, like, have an entrance here, entrance here. And I guess also even like an entrance off to the side here. And of course we could expand as necessary in all this. Could put the guest rooms here, like off the uh off of the room. I mean I suppose that makes sense. We could even make them of reasonable size. Yeah. Yes. Yes, that's that's quite grand. All right. We have that. We've got our cooking area here. This, uh, to be honest, I was almost tempted to like make this be a like a corridor going, jace or um parallel to like the main hall, and then to be honest, we might even want to like do something like that, and then. It's tempting, because I, I like symmetry, but, uh, you know, it's not always. Sometimes symmetry is overrated, man. 
I mean, yeah, we could have uh, then the colonist rooms. By colonist, I mean, I guess, subject rooms. It's not a colony. Well, I guess we are a colony. A colony of dwarves. There we are. I mean, are we really going to need more, more space for food storage alone? Probably not. Of course, like logistically now I'm thinking like it, it doesn't make sense to have rooms like right next to the like, kitchens. I mean I guess it it's not that it eh, I don't know. I don't I don't like this. I don't like this, man. Like this should be the crafting area and the bedrooms should be like their own thing. Maybe maybe this should be the guest rooms and like this down here. Like, as we go all the way down, then we, like, put the prisoners in here, and then, like, have several la- Yeah, that- that probably even makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah, if we dig down here, and then we have our, uh, like, our prisoner cells. Like, little, uh, free-by-free -free things. Here. Like this. Yeah. I mean, we could even have more if we if we really want it. Yeah. And I don't really know what this should be. I guess we could just remove it. I mean, we could fit another another cell in there, couldn't we? Yes, technically, but. Uh, yeah, we could have this, and then like this would be the crafting area. All right, yeah, let's let's start removing some of these plans as we rethink this. Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be I'm gonna be struggling with this. To be honest, I'm actually almost. Eh, I don't I don't even know if I like this design that we've got going right here right now. Oh, so, you know what? I don't like it. I'm gonna get rid of it. Like, I mean, I like the general idea, just not the placement. Hmm. Yeah, and because I can't rotate the throne... Like, if I, could, if I could even just rotate it sideways, then we could put, like, the throne room in here. That would be good. Can't. Won't. Oh, yeah, we gotta get rid of all of this now. Yeah. I mean, eh, I mean, three by three is a room size. It's not that bad. Not terrible. Not great, but it's not terrible. Anyway, yeah, so we could, like, have a parallel set of hallways that go this way. I mean, it's always good to have redundant pathways, and we can have them, like, connect into the main hall again. One problem I guess I don't like is that there isn't, like, here. I mean, I suppose we could change if we like completely reworked it so this was just like one really big hallway or one really big hall, which I guess makes a certain amount of sense. I mean, like you remember that scene in, uh, what is this? Danny's has gotten sick from infection, huh? How did you even get infected? Probably got scratched or something while I wasn't paying attention. Oh, you're already doctoring Danny's. Good. Animals, oh god. Oh no, don't make me, don't make me kill the Yorkies. Oh, I'm such a monster. Anyway, yeah. Like, I mean like you, you've seen, I assume, possibly, maybe, like the various Lord of the Rings films. I mean, <clears throat> like, uh, yeah, like this is like, there are, like a big hall like this with like little, uh, you know, like, columns set out along the way. There's not, like, any actual, like, column items, are there? Not look like it. Uh, where would I even find such a thing? Hardy tree grow spot. I like the sound of that. 
Oh, wait, we can actually already make doormats. That's good. That's sad on me. Oh, it's the dogs. <clears throat> I'm going to hell for this. Oh, yeah, we even need, like, a crypt area. I mean, I suppose that somewhere down here, closer to the prisons. Basically, you go down here, you pass, you pass the kitchens, you pass the crypt, then you get to the prisons. And we're like, going to want to multiple series. Oh, actually, no, that's like, that's why the biggest thing I hated with the whole prison escape event is that like somehow, these guys can just like the prisoners can just open every single door in your colony. It'd be nice if they could only like open the door to their cell, or maybe it, maybe it's changed. To be honest, I haven't really seen the prisoner escape event happen all that often. I'm just assuming how it's working. Anyway. Hmm. I mean, having this as one gigantic Super Jamungo Hall with, uh, like, various entertainments and, like, our eating and stuff like that spread throughout. Not a bad idea. And it does seem, like, fitting. Like, it's a ridiculously over-the-top hall that you might expect from the dwarves. So I could go for it. God, we have a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff here. Yeah, and then, like, this... We have something here. I mean, if this is the guest rooms, we could maybe... I mean, do I want the regular rooms next to the guest rooms? Like, what, what do I want here? Hmm. Like, if I want... I mean, I could have this, like, be, like, the main storage area, and then we have, like, a smaller storage area for, like, that's specifically for crafting. Hmm. I suppose that makes a certain amount of sense. Like, uh, let's... Let's just designate, like, a an 11 by 10 square of some sort. And then we'll, we'll figure it out from there. How we want to do this sort of thing. And we're also going to need gates and stuff here. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me there. There's much to consider. Uh, what, did I, what did I just mark? Oh. Okay, so they're consuming the stew because apparently this is too far away. It's too far away for- oh no, it's not too far away for you. Hmm. But it is too far away for some. Hmm. Curtains, huh? Maybe we could do something with that. Also, Earthen Hill. Hills are not as tall or as strong as natural walls, but they give great comfort to hobbits living inside them. Hills require simple dirt and soil nearby. and take time to complete. Grass can be planted upon these hills. It's cool. I mean, we could we could ha use this just like to set up hedgerows or something. That would be cool. Yeah, these dwarven gates aren't aren't half as impressive as our uh, awesome Dwarven Gates Elven ones. But, then again, they are... They're smaller. I mean, like, even the Dwarves, uh, like in Moria and whatnot, as I recall, they had, like, cool Elven carved things, so maybe we might even want to eventually replace these gates right here, which are still cool with, like, you know, Elvish runes and whatnot, because still, it's nice to look at. I wish we had, like, special dwarven walls, like, aside from these reinforced walls, but, like, some, uh, like, dwarf carved walls, things, stuff. Might be something we'll see in the future. You know, like, more decorations and more, excuse me, stuff of that general nature, since the Lord of the Rims mod is still in very much an active development. Which is cool, and I look forward to seeing... You know, whatever new stuff might appear. Alright, so yeah, we'll... I think we'll go with that idea. This will be like our, our crafting area. And our, like, main storage area, because it's, like, close to the entrance, so it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, and we've got an Aurora again. Cool. Yeah, and then we'll have, like, our main storage area. Um, I guess, like, right here. 
storage or maybe um I mean it would make sense to have an armory like nearby, wouldn't it? I think so. Yeah, we'll have like we'll have one we'll follow the idea we had before about having hallway that kind of goes here. And we'll have like a our storage area. Should be big enough. Could like squeeze in a little armory over here. The other side, like this. Like it, it wouldn't need to be too terribly big. Yeah, actually I should make it one more. Because let's see here, then like two, two. And then, ah. Add a bit more to it. Yeah. Line this out. Ah, you know, I'm never gonna be happy with this right here. Well, I mean, I suppose if I put a one by one doorway that leads into a two by. Oh, but then Still, it's not going to be a stupid free by free door being the wrong size. Urgh. I'll never be truly happy, but you know, we can come close. We can come close to happiness. If only this was like a four by four. Or again, I could, I could rework things and just make this a, a free by free, but then that'll throw off. It'll throw off the whole thing. The feng shui of the room will be. Completely destroyed. I can't have that. Anyway, yeah, so we need like two here, like for some kind of armory thing. Then two, then one, and then two, and then another two. That way it's like nice and even here. So like two, four, six, eight, uh, ten, twelve. We'll be able to fit a lot of armory stuff in here, basically. And then one, two, I think there's like a four square base still in there, so it, it's all good. It should all come together. All right. You uh, still don't want to join us, huh, friendo? I mean, you know, if that's how you feel. You are urgently hungry, so we are going to have to do something about that. We're also running low on uh, on medicine. That's another problem. Oh yeah, we haven't figured out where we want to put the bedrooms yet. Alright. Let's also get planning on the throne room again. So we know that the throne itself is a 2x2, two two, so that means we we still want a grand door. So we'll make it like the elvish grand doors to be like what leads in here. So, yeah, we'll... Let's see here. Oh, also I have, uh, yeah, kind of, oh, but this is already open, so, yeah, but then I could, I could just put walls in there. Planning, man. The hardest part. Alright, so, we have this, like that. Alright, so that's, that's what we've got here so far. All right, then we uh, have this. Might even have it so that the room expands outwards a little bit. And then we have this, and then like, yeah. Is that grand enough though? Like, especially if we're gonna have like a massive room like this in order to welcome in visitors. And then we like, we have the hall goes in here, and then like this, like some tiny little throne room. I think not. Gotta make it a, at least a few squares bigger. There we are. That's that's considerably more impressive. Not perfect, but it's better. So, yeah, we'll deal with that. That's probably good enough. And again, we'll probably want some kind of uh, secrety thing here. Let people out, and then we'll yeah have our parallel tunnel going here. That going there, I mean... Yeah. Then, uh, this ties into that. How much space do we ha have here? I mean, we're still just debating on whether we want to, like, make this all one big long haul. Which, again, we could do. 
I mean, heck, I mean, we could have, I mean, I could, I could really change, like, the general way I build bases here. Like, every single room could be in this hall, just, like, divide it into various sections. I mean, like, you know, we could have, like, crafting and, I mean, it's, it's something we could do. I don't know if it's something we will do. And also, it means I'll have to figure out what the heck I'm doing with uh, this right here. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. All right. So, I mean, if this is going to be a crafting area, like, this is what it's looking like so far. So, yeah, then we'll put our, like, actual subject bedrooms right here for the good people of the Dwarven Kingdoms. Good people of uh, this place whose name I've already forgotten. Yeah, something like this. Actually, to be honest, well, there's a part of me that says, hey, you know what, I should probably, uh, like, have the hall in here. But this seems better-ish. Actually, I guess if I'm going to do it, maybe I should have the hall go this way and then have the bedrooms like, like this right here. Then uh, attach the bedrooms off of it like this. Not quite necessarily as efficient. Fine, but uh, it's okay. For now, at least. Yeah, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six of us. There are eight beds here. All right, I like it. This is, uh, I'm going to commit to this general general design for now at least now you know what? I'll, I'll I'll dig this out as well we, we could do something with that like put a statue at the end of the corridor all right yeah you know what? I like this and it's also time to wrap this episode up so until the next time as always thank you all for watching I hope you all enjoyed don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below let me know what you're thinking and I will see all you in the next video